Hi, my name is Ilya, I'm CEO and co-founder of BitScout. And in this video, I wanted to show you how we have created an automated invoice processing queue for one of our clients. So let's get on with it. So as you can see here, this is a dashboard in Monday where we have a breakdown of, um, uh, we, ha we have several graphs. Here you have this type of graph and then you have a donut graph. And the point was that our client wanted to process the invoices automatically, putting them into some special folder in the Dropbox, then extract the information and then classify the line items of each invoice based on the cost type that they gave us. Okay, and uh, they just wanted to see what type of costs they have. And this is what was the result in dashboard that they can see anytime the invoice is, is uploaded. Okay, so let me show you how it works. Here we have an invoice. Um, I created a separate corporation just to show you a demo because it's a kind of a live setup. And what we're going to do is we're going to drop it to here, to Dropbox, where we have a folder that is automatically scanned every time for new invoices. Okay, so let's do that. So now it's uploaded. And what will happen is once the Integromat will pick it up, uh, it will be automatically uh, created, uploaded to, to Monday as a task. Okay, You can do it differently. You can create a form where you can upload the document or you can extract uh, invoices from, uh, from an email. In this case, we are using Dropbox. Okay, And what happens next is here we'll get a new task with the invoice information and it will be processed. So now we have our task appeared and automatically we trigger the status to analyze, to understand the provider. In this case, uh, we have detected that this is an ACME. Uh, and then what happens is we move the task to a board here. And to a board here, and this is where it ends up. Now the next step is to analyze the information from the invoice. And this is what happened right now. We extracted due date, uh, invoice ID, information about the price, and then also the line items. Because the next step we want to do is, is uh, uh, convert the table in the invoice into line items. This will um, be triggered in, in a second. So now uh, we have extracted the line items here with all the details. And then uh, what we do is uh, the queue creates um, a separate copies the separate items here. So here they are. Okay, these are new items. And we what we need to do is we classify them. So I'm going to do it manually. And uh, uh, the classification is understanding what type of the cost is that based on what our client told us. So now BitScout is analyzing that. And the information about what type of costs categories we have, we take from this table. And this table is actually part of uh, BitScout recipe. And these are the examples. So now the system will detect, based on those examples, what kind of um, cost categories are these three items. And update, of course, it will update the dashboard view. And this way we're going to have new information and see how the costs are uh, distributed based on the categories that we have created. Okay, so here we have our costs. These are telco data center costs. And then, uh, of course, our view uh, has been updated. Our dashboard view has been updated with the latest information. Okay, so this queue is working uh, on the back end automatically. So the files have been uploaded to Dropbox every time they receive those. And uh, it's actually a form where uh, all the employees can upload the invoices. And then we process them, uh, distributing them um, different, um, between different boards. But mostly uh, we populate this board uh, to understand how and what is the um, uh, distribution between different cost categories. Now, this uh, table will also allow our client to use forecasting uh, to predict costs for the next period. Because in, in this uh, use case, 
the costs are dynamic based on usage and predicting the usage in future will allow you to plan the budgets better.